South African so different from our African countries. So as a South African, I'd like to hear his view, what he has to say, because he is not a South African, but he lives in South Africa. So obviously he has his own view. So I'd like to hear. Yeah, let's get into the video. And so coming to South Africa for greener pastures, we come and then realize that it's good systems are designed for the citizens and it favors only the citizens and not foreigners. As a result of this, people go ahead and do illegal stuff only to make ends meet for them. This is what the citizens of South Africa see. And then they be like, hey, Wernie, I don't care. I don't care wherever country, whichever country that you are coming from. We see you as a brother. We see you as a sister. But if you are coming here to sell cocaine, if you are coming here to steal from our people, if you are coming here to kill and to do all illegal sort of manners here, then we see you as a hater. You are like an appetite. And so we don't like you. You go back to wherever that you come from. We will not entertain you in our country if you cannot respect our rule of law. Big question, should it not be like that in each and every country, I mean? Which country would allow people from other countries to come and do illegal activities in their country? I think that's a norm. Every country should not allow that. Yeah. Welcome to my channel. My name is Brad Jones, and it's your only bra from Ghana. Hey, yo, Brad Jones from Ghana. Okay, you're from Ghana, Maniga. All right. Ghanaian. Let's. Yeah, let's hear what you have to say, nigga. Living inside South Africa. Guys, if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please kindly consider subscribing. Subscribe to this channel. We've got a lot of good stuff for you. I got you. I got you. I've subscribed. We are showing the beautiful places in South Africa. We are showing the tourist sites. We are showing everything good. That This channel is all about positivity. We don't have time for negativity. We're talking about the positive part of South Africa and beyond. You know, it's a travel channel. And so definitely we will travel outside South Africa and then go show Africa to the world. And possibly we'll be going to the world and we'll be showing the world to the world. If you are already a subscriber, may God richly bless you for patronizing and then supporting my thank you. Up until today. Thank I you. Really appreciate. I can't thank you enough. God richly bless you. It's been a year and counting since i left ghana to south africa and i must say my staying here in south africa has been awesome mm. it has been love living in south africa and with south africans it's all beautiful i don't mm. know why you are i always wonder how's life out there because i've never been outside of south africa i've never been in any other country i've only lived in south africa since i was born so I man yeah i need to travel and to see how other people live outside it you are watching this channel from but hey based on my own experience living with south africans it's awesome it's all love so today i'm going to talk about why south africa and south africans are different from other african countries and other africans so south africa is a dream african country to are we really different though uh, i don't know but are we are we that different from other African countries? Why why all our African people are saying South Africans are way different from other African countries? I mean we have Egyptians, they are way different. We have we have Morocco. Morocco people are way different. And South Africa, are we that different? I don't know. Let's hear. To most Africans to visit, either to work for tourism, for holidays, or etc., etc. You know, people talk a lot about South Africa and South Africans, either for the good or for the bad reasons. And they don't understand why South Africans are different from other Africans. Hey, yo, my name is King Dave. Please subscribe. I forgot to say that. In terms of lifestyle, their mindset, the way they do their things, and their reaction towards other Africans moving to South Africa to stay. So countries like my own country, Ghana, Nigeria, and other African countries were colonized by the British. 
targeted by our resources. South Africa was colonized somewhere in the 1600s, but was mostly used as a pit stop for the Europeans when they traveled. Until the Dutch decided to settle, a lot of blood was shed protecting this country from the Great British and the Zulu War, known as the Anglo-Zulu War, to fighting apartheid. To date, South Africans continue to fight like their ancestors did to protect their infrastructures and resources, which has helped in establishing and developing the country and has made it the dream African land that most Africans today want to visit. Fighting the apartheid was to make sure that South Africa was economically, politically, socially, systematically dominated by South Africans. Resisting the British and others from stealing their resources and taking over their land. Guys, when you watch some of the documentaries of the apartheid, you realize that it was kind of tragedy. They fought and toil with their blood. If, if you go to the apartheid museum, I think it's in Pretoria, Jovek. Um, yeah, it's not nice, man. If you go, if you get in there, you're gonna come back um hating on white people. It's yo, it's not nice. Blood to make sure that they take over their land. That has made South Africa what it is today. And that most Africans call it the Europe of Africa. And they Oh okay. Maybe this is why South Africa is considered different because of how wealthy it is, how well developed it is. It's it's road, our road, our buildings, um, our 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 cities. Uh, I guess so. Yeah, to be honest, South Africa is beautiful. Eh? My country is beautiful. The roads, the buildings, the street lights, everything. The only drawback is crime and load shedding. But otherwise, South Africa is way pretty beautiful. I consider it as one of the world class countries, even though it's not considered a world class country, but I personally consider it as a world class country. That's why most of us South Africans don't like relocating. We just go visit other countries and come back. We don't permanently relocate. Because, hey, man, what's out there which is not here? South Africa is beautiful, guys. The it, and then they wish to come and then live in this beautiful country because of the good fight that the ancestors fought for this nation south africa today has good systems in place for its citizens that they rarely travel outside in search of greener pastures sometimes it's even hard for a south african to leave his or her province and then go to a different province and then settle there see the systems are designed in a way that wherever that you are in South Africa, it favors you. Fact. And so you are okay Fact. as a citizen. Unlike my own people, Ghana, Nigeria, West Africans, and other African countries who like to travel a lot and who like to migrate to South Africa and sometimes to the Western world in search of greener pastures to make a living for themselves and family back home. We travel a lot, okay. especially West Africans. We migrate a lot. I don't know which country in the Western world that doesn't have Africans. So, um, yeah, that's true. We have a lot of Nigerians here, a lot of Zimbabweans, a lot of Congolese, Ghanaians, but I can't really differentiate between a Nigerian, a Congolese, and a Ghanaian because to me they look the same. They almost speak the same. It's hard for me to really differentiate. I can I can only differentiate the Zimbabwean on how he speak on how they speak. Their accent is different, and their uh, color and muscul muscularity. Nigerians are very big. Congolese are big men. Um, Ghanaians are big. Zimbabweans are not that big, but by the accent I can tell. And we South Africans, we're not we're not gifted with muscles here. Yeah? We just normal size or west africans living there i was talking to a friend the other time on phone and he was like charlie in this country charlie. now this country the five-year plan the dream and vision of every citizen 
we should travel outside the country. I was like, so what you basically saying, uh, Ghanaians or any other African countries, if you say their five year plan is to like travel of the out of their country, their dreams, visions, whatever they envision themselves in their future, it's being out of the country. They don't see their lives there. OK. That would only mean they don't see any future or any hope in their own country. And yeah, I can't blame them sometimes. It's life, man. Some of the corrupt leadership in in in, in African countries, they, they, they're just destroying the countries. Same as here in Africa, in South Africa. Ah. <laughs> but it's true, it's true. He wasn't lying. That's the truth. See, I am a Ghanaian, but why am I not living in Ghana, but living in South Africa? Thanks. And trust me, there are a lot of us here, especially Ghanaians and, and Nigerians mostly. Yeah, there's a lot of you. The malls, you go to the shops, you'll be walking and you see a person coming. You look at him and he said, ah, this person doesn't look like South African. You approach, you greet, and then you say, yeah, hey, I'm a Nigerian. You say, yeah, hey, hey, I'm a Ghanaian. <laughs> we travel a lot. Sometimes when I see that, I ask myself that, hey, how many South Africans do you see in Ghana in search for greener pastures? Let me answer you. We don't go out of South Africa to like seek greener pastures. We go all out of South Africa to go on a vacation or for tourism purposes to go see on how, how other people live out there, not to permanently relocate, relocate or migrate to another country to to settle that we don't do that because hey man we love south africa south africa is beautiful it's the vibe here the people um i don't blame a lot of people wanting to come here it's such a dope country so it's it's very rare to find the south african moving relocating out of south africa they they are those who relocate but they are very few very very few that i can guarantee you or how many South Africans do you see in Nigeria in search for greener pastures? It's either you barely see them or you don't see them at all. Because South Africa is economically strong and has good and standard systems in place for its citizens. And so they barely travel outside. They are always okay in their country. Their systems are well structured just like the Westerners. And so moving or migrating outside the country to live elsewhere is never an option for a, a, a South African citizen. Fact. For instance, a government teacher here in South Africa receives around 20,000 rand as monthly salary. A nurse, a government nurse here in South Africa receives around 20,000 rand. Yeah, just to put more context on that, um, an average South African earns around 20,000 to 25,000 to 30,000 or 15,000. And that is that is a, like a stable salary that, that can give you a very decent life. You're not, you wouldn't be poor, you wouldn't be rich, but you'd be average and it, you'd enjoy your life. So it's, it's a decent amount of money to live. You could afford a car, you can afford a house, a bond, an apartment, a lot of things you can pay your medical bills, yeah, man, you, you can have a life, a very nice life, decent life. As monthly salary, and those who work for the private companies, they receive good salaries as well, because the minimum wage bill here in South Africa is so good that you can work for a private company and receive around 6,000, receive around 7,000, 8,000, 10,000, sometimes 15,000, 20,000 rent, depending on your qualification and certificate. During the 2020 pandemic, most citizens lost their job. And so a structure was designed for them to receive an allowance at the end of every month. And up until date, those who haven't gotten a job yet are still benefiting from this allowance. Every month, they are receiving a salary. Let, let me just give a detailed context of what he's saying. So, because during COVID-19, a lot of people were unable to hustle, a lot of people were unable to do their daily jobs. Um, 
because of the harsh lockdown, you were, were not allowed to go out or do anything. Only people who were, who were able to work from home were able to work, or only people who were able who were, who were doing like very needy necessary jobs were allowed to travel. But if you were doing like some kind of awkward job, you lose your job. So they decided to give out 350 to each and every individual who wasn't working, who stopped working. Yeah, and then they also give out um a monthly fee to um old people. I think if you're six or seventy, from six to seven that day you, you you receive your grant monthly. If you are sick, disabled, mentally disturbed, you're unable to work to 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 receive monthly income because of your disability, you also get paid every month. I think that's two thousand. Yeah, and then if if you if you have a baby, you are unemployed. Both parents are unemployed. Um, the baby gets around four hundred and fifty every month. He his or he him or her is eighteen years old. Yeah, that's basically the structure. All the all the people two thousand a month. It, it disabled people or sick two thousand a month. Unemployed people three hundred and fifty a month. Children below eighteen. 18 years of age whom their parents are not working they get like around 400 that might be i might be incorrect in terms of the, of the figures but i'm close yeah so why would you leave south africa if you get free money man? there is grant allowance for kids from 0 to 18 years whose parents are not having a job there is grant allowance for older women there is grant allowance for older men and so forth and so with this how is the citizen going to think about leaving the country and going to seek for greener pastures elsewhere there's no way most of the people who leave the country are mostly highly qualified people who seek more venture who like if someone gets an offer out outside of south africa it's really a good offer it's worth living for. They wouldn't live like for 50K a month, maybe 100K plus a month, they would live. But rather than that, no. So they only live for basically great, beautiful offers. Like I am a South African. I work in the in the tech industry, software developer. The only reason I would leave is if, if I get a very good offer in another country, very good. But man, I don't wanna leave. I don't see myself. I would visit, but not relocate. Nah, I'm not going anywhere. With all these good systems in place, how will the citizens think of living and migrating elsewhere? Facts. I am not trying to say South Facts. Africa is perfect. No, every country has got their own problem. Correct. Yes, and up until today, even today, there are still people in South Africa who are jobless and finding it difficult to get jobs. Yes, but it's just to point out some something, the unemployment rate of South Africa is very high. We have a lot of unemployed people. We also have a lot of employed people. Yeah, it's just like any other country. Just that our economy is strong, our country is well developed. And yeah, man, and there are a lot of opportunities if if your eyes are open and you're not lazy. There are a lot of opportunities. It's just that sometimes it's, as a South African, it's hard for you to see the opportunities you have as, as compared to someone coming from Zimbabwe, uh, any other African country coming here because of the situation of where they are from. And then they come here, they see a lot of opportunities because we are born here. We don't see those things sometimes. So, yeah. It's not as bad as it is in West Africa. At least here, at the end of every month, they have a grant salary that is given to them, even though they are not working. Way back in Ghana or West Africa, it is not like that. Yeah, there are no good systems in place like that. So we are not to blame our citizens. It is leadership problem. It is our leaders that are not putting these systems in place for us to benefit as citizens. So now most West Africans and other African countries tend to search for greener pastures in a Western world or sometimes in South Africa. Coming to South Africa for greener pastures, we come and then realize that its good systems are designed for the citizens and it favors only the citizens and not foreigners. As a result of this, 
people go ahead and do illegal stuff only to make ends meet for them. This is what. Yeah, that's that's one thing I want to point out. We South Africans, we, we are deemed as xenophobic by other African countries, but we are not xenophobic. I can guarantee you, even this guy can tell you that South Africans are not xenophobic. We are not xenophobic. We are very friendly people. We love Arab people. We love people who visit our country, whether you're from Nigeria. Anyway, as long as you're good to us, man, we are we are a free country. We, we don't have any issues. The only issue we have, we already have enough crime in our country. Our fellow South African brothers are doing ugly things. And then another person from another country comes into our country illegally, not documented, and commit crimes and do illegal things. Obvious South Africans are, are going to be mad and they're going to they're gonna be brutal to you because of that. Every Each and every country should be like that. It is like that. They wouldn't allow such. So we are not xenophobic. You can ask a lot of people who are from other countries who live here permanently. They'll tell you South Africa is not xenophobic. South Africa has nice, friendly people. Just don't mess with us. Don't commit crimes. Don't do illegal things. And it's easy for someone who came illegally in South Africa who is undocumented to commit crimes and do a lot of things because they are not on the system. They are not traceable. Like you can't do anything. The only thing you can do is when they get arrested, it's either you deport them back or you just keep them in the prison. And yeah, man, but we are nice people, guys. We are very nice people. Viping country to a piano. The citizens of South Africa see, and then they be like, hey, Wenny, I don't care. I don't care. Hey, Wenny. What is that? What is Wenny? Hey, Wenny. I think it's just laying in 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 the use in Ghana, maybe. Yeah. Hey, Wenny. I like that. Wherever country, whichever country that you are coming from, we see you as a brother. We see you as a sister. Thank you. Facts. We see you a brother. We see you as a brother. We see you as our sister. Cause I had a Ghanaian friend. Um, his name was you. Know, I forgot his name, but he was a cool guy, man. We we were good to him. We were nice to him. Even now, I still have, oh, it, it was Emmanuel. Now I remember him. He was a cool gen. I had, I had a lot of friends who are not South African. And yeah, man, they were nice people. But if you are coming here to sell cocaine, if you are coming here to steal from our people, if you are coming here to kill and to do all illegal sort of manners here, then we see you as a hater. You are like an appetite. And so we don't like you. You go back to wherever that you come from. We will not entertain you in our country if you cannot respect our rule of law. And for me, I see nothing wrong with that personally because some of the behaviors and acts of some foreigners here in this country is a no-no. It's a no-no. Facts. It's a no-no. Trust me. So one thing I don't really like about our African countries coming to South Africa is because there's a rumor which, which, well, a lot of people say South Africa is a free country. You can do whatever you want here. There's, the laws are not strict. The police are not strict, so you can do whatever you want. So a lot of people come in our country with that mentality to say South Africa is a free country. You have freedom to do a lot of things. And then by that, they do illegal things. I mean, come on. You might be a free country, but we don't. You should have morals. You should have, like, Rules and laws you follow. Don't be, don't don't abuse the advantage that we are a free country, a democratic democratic country. Because I've I've heard that a lot of people come here with the mentality that South Africa is a free country. You can do any kind of business you like. There are no regulations to regulate what you do. There are regulations, but they are not that strict. That's why we have a lot of people traveling here to seek greener pressures because it's easy for them to get opportunities because of uh, our country, it's a demo democratic country, the free country. So a lot of people come here and they take advantage of, uh, of that. So when South Africans act based on that and then they say South Africans are xenophobic, we are not, man. 
we are definitely not xenophobic. We are against those few individuals from other countries who come here and do illegal things, illegal activities. I, we already have enough crime by way. our fellow own South African brothers. So we, we don't want to add more crime from other country, from other people from other countries coming here. Doesn't matter if you're from America, Mexico, it doesn't matter. Man. Ah, yeah. So we're not xenophobic, my people. Crimes that is committed in South Africa are committed by foreigners. Trust me, South Africans are very good people. Thank if you. you. Come here with good intentions Thank. as a foreigner and stay clean. Mm. They'll be very good to you. Mm. See, South Africa is not only known for its good systems in place for the citizens, but also good infrastructure like good roads, uh, tourist sites, skyscrapers. Everything is organized here in this country, especially in the city. Like Even some of the European countries don't come close to South Africa. South Africa is something else, man. Just out of, it's in Africa. But man, it, it's, it's killing most of the European countries. Joburg, like in Cape Town, Pretoria, Durban, even if it's a, a rural area, they have good roads there and the infrastructures there are very good. There are good buildings there. Yes, and many more we see. And then we say South Africa is indeed the Europe of Africa. South Africa. Don't call us the Europe of Africa. We are South Africa. We are in Africa. We are an African country, We're not Europe. We will never be Europe. So don't, don't, yeah, just don't call us. Yeah, it's not nice. It's indeed different from any other African country. Guys, thank you very much. This is where we draw the curtain. Okay, I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to give my feedback. I like how this guy speaks. He goes straight to the point. To the point, he he tell it, he tell it, he tell tells it like it is. He doesn't like justify or try to polish it, make it look nice. He tells it the way uh, like it is. He's a straight talker. Big up, my guy. I like your content. Guys, yeah, I'm a new YouTuber. Yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you are not a South African living in other countries, like African countries, and you want to know about South Africa, subscribe, man. I have content, South African content. You'll know more deeply about South Africa. Even some of the things you don't see on social media. On this channel, you will see them. Rural areas of South Africa, not just the cities only. Yeah. Otherwise, cheers, cheers. Cheers, manigas. Not manigas, cheers, my good people.